from Guanajuato, Guanajuato. Now, before we jump into today's video, we wanted to provide you guys with a little bit of context as to what in the world you're about to see. So about a year ago or maybe a bit more at this point, we came to Guanajuato uh, to visit, to get some first impressions and things like that. And Greg found this incredible wallet. We loved it so much because it's got a little weta on there. So we had to buy one. Then through the rest of our travels in 2018, uh, we kept finding different arts and crafts and handmade things from artists across Mexico. And this year we knew we wanted to dig deeper into that side of Mexico. And so we created Con Todo, where we plan to share the stories and the handcrafts and the handmade arts and things from people across Mexico to give those artists a platform. So we came back to Guanajuato with one goal in mind, to find these incredible handmade leather wallets, and you're about to see what we found. Alejandro, we just met 15 minutes ago. Next thing we know, we're on his mountainside, uh, mountainside uh, workshop. workshop. He's going to uh, show us exactly how he cuts uh, cuts a piece of this uh, leather for us to make a wallet. making the wallets, he's shaping them, just using a ruler and uh, an X-Acto knife. And then Abril... It is fast. <laughs> she, he's doing it so fast. Abril is basically going, she's cleaning them up, getting the edges nice and straight. And uh, and then just the craftsmanship, I don't know how they make this look too easy. Uh-huh. Alejandro just had to he put put yeah. holes in every every spot so that you could how would you say it in English? What do you yeah, say? Yeah, like she's gonna Abril's gonna hand sew it. So he had to poke all the holes. He had to hand put in every single hole to be line. able to hand stitch. This is definitely es un arte. Sí. Sí. Es un arte. It's definitely an art. Es un arte rápido. Sí, es sí. Este, por ejemplo, el valor agregado a nuestro trabajo es eso, que lo hacemos a mano, Ajá. así empleamos más gente, Ajá. porque exactamente se puede hacer lo mismo con máquina, sí. pero que pues, es más económico, Ajá. no lleva ese valor agregado, yes. y aquí cada, cada paso le vamos dejando parte de nuestra sí. personalidad. Exacto. Cada quien. Sí, uh -huh. uh, yeah, there's something about And it's, all every, every piece is different, every hole is going to be a little bit different because it's handmade, it's not from a machine, it has his personality in it, his touch. And uh, there's just something about that. And I think Alejandro said on the drive up here, it's important for him and his family uh, and generations to come not to lose this art. Este, no quieren este, perder este arte, esta sí. tradición. Aparte, o sea, aparte de eso, no, no se pierde. Bueno, nosotros somos como iniciadores en este tipo de trabajo. No sé, este, pues para que más generaciones lo hagan. Pero lo importante es de que ninguna pieza va a ser exactamente igual que otra, ¿no? Sí. O sea, porque no nos va a quedar la perforación Ajá. en el mismo lugar. Sí, sí, sí. No, sino que todas las piezas Ajá. son como piezas únicas. Sí. Wow. Wow. Now for the final 
touches Alejandro's gonna uh, uh, place on there and stitch on there I would imagine the the final kind of outer shell that really gives the wallet its character and it's it's uh, it's it's real Mexican feel and flavor I believe this is the final step of the uh, process. Eric is, uh, Eric, see? Mm -hmm. is stitching, is stitching the last little bit to the, the wallet. He told me it would only take 15 minutes, so we'll see. And just like that, literally in the maybe 20, 30 minutes we've been here, went from raw materials of a huge raw piece of uh, leather. leather to a beautiful wallet. They'll hold Handmade, so hand little money in our case. <laughs> Now I wanted to show you guys the five designs that Greg and I picked from Aliarte, Alejandro. Uh, they're they're so pretty. <laughs> Here's the first one. Frida. De Frida. This might be my favorite. Oh, very nice. Mariachi. This is de Mayo. My self portrait. <laughs> <laughs> My personal favorite and my personal wallet. With a little bit more love. <laughs> and I really like this one too. I love that one. There you have it. Five designs. You can get them all at alwayscontado.com. What an absolute treat to uh, to be able to share yes. Alejandro's work and his story with you guys. Uh, his house is absolutely beautiful. One of the nicest people we could ever meet. We, yeah. we came to Guanajuato for one specific reason because we'd already been here before and although it's beautiful we didn't come here necessarily for the beauty of the city we came here for those wallets yeah not knowing if they would be here not even knowing who made them nothing we knew nothing about three hours ago behind the story of these fascinating wallets and i feel like both greg and i are even more fascinated with the art and the love that goes into every single one we showed up into the store uh found the wallets we felt extremely lucky started talking to uh, the Diana. Sale, Diana, the sales lady. Next thing we know, we're, we're hopping in Alejandro's car, going up to his house uh, and meeting his family and, and meeting uh, everybody who, who makes those that, that piece of art possible. And uh, truly incredible. Hopefully yes. you appreciate the story and, uh, and his work. If you do, we will have those on sale at alwayscontodo.com yep. or siempreconto.com, whichever one you like. It's okay. The dog wants some wallets. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, have less, do more, bark, bark more. more. <laughs>